video from Shomus Biology. In this particular video, I am going to answer one of the most demanded question right when the CSR declares the percentile score is how to calculate the rank from the percentile score. It's always a big question, right? So the percentile, I personally don't like and I really don't know why they declared life science score only in percentile, rest of the other scores are in percentile. We love to know that, yeah, you have scored, uh, let's say, 100 out of 200. It's quite easy to understand, right? Or uh, in percentage value, you scored only 50%. As per this rule, you scored 50%, right? So these values are quite easy to understand. But percentile is a comparative score. Now, to calculate your rank from percentile, remember, there are a lot more things going on. I'm not going to share how I get uh, to this point, but I'm going to give you a simple, basic idea from where you can tentatively calculate your rank. Okay, remember three factors here. One, uh, the most important thing here is the number of candidates applied. Number of candidates applied for CSI net in that particular session is very, very important to know. This data, without this data, you can never calculate the rank. And second important thing that you need to understand here is your percentile score. Okay. That you can easily get from the scorecard of yours, right? The percentile you will easily get. And third most important point here, third most important point is uh, basically the number of candidates given the fellowship. Okay, so let's say if you applied for GRF, how many students have, uh, are given the GRF or how many students given the lectureship. So let's say GRF in case uh, in last year. In 2022, there was an exam and that exam, what happened is that they generally offered 4,000 to 4,200 candidates for GRF. They choose that. For LS, they choose 4,000 to 4,100 approximate candidates. Okay, it's a simple idea. It's a simple value. Okay. So this is our idea that they on average give 4,000 4, to 4,500 or 4,200 GRF candidates and the number of candidates apply and this 4000 to 4500 as i mentioned this is not any particular session this is not only for life science remember that this is for all the disciplines including the ugc grf including the csir grf and including grf only so everything included okay that value and ls everything included so all the disciplines it's very low i know it's only 1.5 to 2% of the candidates who actually qualify csir net 1% for grf and GRFLS together 2% only. It's really, really sad. But that is the truth. Okay. Without that, there is nothing else. So what you can clearly state is that uh, the number of candidates applied. And let's say assume the number of candidates. Uh, it can be anything. The number of candidates can be anything. You need to know this particular uh, value. This value is generally disclosed by CSR itself, by NTA itself. So for example, in this June 2023, total approximately... 2,60,000 people applied for it. 2,60,000 people. And let's imagine that among this, you got a particular percentile. Let's say your percentile value is 99 percentile. Assume that. Okay. So what happened is that there is a simple formula to convert your percentile into your tentative rank. And that formula is first step. There are two steps to the formula. The step number one is multiply your percentile into the total number of candidates applied. Okay. And divide it with 100. This is the very first step. Okay. So as per this, I have my calculator. And I'll do that. 99 into 260000. And it gives me divided by 100. Gives me 257400. 257400. This is the value. Step number 2 is subtract this value from the total Number of candidates 260000 minus 257400. You do that, and what will you get? 260000 minus 257400. 2600. So the value is 2600. That's what we got. Now, this is so now if you imagine 2600. It's not even truth, right? Because in CSI net, you can hardly find a rank even above 350 or something around 325 to 350. So how is it possible? Because we know 99% is a good score. So how is it justified? Now to the point. 
the 4000 to 4200 people given grf but they are not ranked 1 2 3 so they are ranked 1 2 3 4 till let's say 350 is the maximum rank for individual rank in csi and net grf approximately 8 to 12 students are present yes that's the beauty approximately 8 to 12 students because in june csi net i mean in in 2022 csi net examination overall approximately 4000 Uh, 100 something people were given. Let's say 4,200 people were given uh, the rank, and the maximum rank was 350. So if we divide it with 350, we get approximately 12 candidates per rank. Just imagine, if we consider there are 12 candidates per rank, as per this rule, this rank, this rank that you got is exact sequential rank. So you need to divide it with that number. So 2600 divided by 12 gives you. Two one six, and if ten students per rank, then you'll get two sixty as your score, right? So this is your actual rank. This is your actual rank. If you got ninety nine percentile, then your rank approximately will be two hundred and sixteen. So somewhere near two hundred, that should be your rank. Now, if we increase it, let's say somebody gets ninety nine point five zero percentile. Then what would happen? The same thing. Ninety nine point five zero. You do do the same calculation. Two six two six zero 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 into ninety nine point five divided by hundred. The value two five eight seven. So this value will be now two five eight seven double zero. Now you subtract this value. Two five eight seven double zero one three double zero. You will get one three. Double zero, and let's imagine that there are twelve candidates per rank. So divided with twelve will give us the rank of approximately one zero eight. Now sometimes the number of candidates per rank can be more than twelve. It can be fifteen. In that case, your rank will be even close, right? So this is how to calculate. There are three parts to the calculation. It may sound difficult, but it's not that difficult actually. This is very simple, straightforward calculation. Anyone can do that simple three-step calculation that I told you. Okay, but there are multiple factors involved. As there are multiple factors involved, there are chances of error. You know, you may not get exact rank because ultimately, what matters is the 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 rank card that you are going to see at the end. But still, you can get an idea about how much you score from your percentile. So this is one in all video where I explained about. how to get to know about percentile score but again uh, this varies drastically between uh, the different subjects that people applied for between different uh, even uh, sessions that you attended the exam for because percentile is a comparative uh, total for example in life sciences maximum candidate apply compared to all the other uh, subjects so in life science approximately 80 90000 students apply where let's say in in uh, physical science only 10 20000 students apply so in comparing everything you get this score so this rank may not be sufficient but what i am saying is that if with this method of calculating 12 students per rank your rank comes under your rank come under 350 lower than 350 then you can think There is a chance that you can qualify this, okay? But again, if CSIR gives or UGC provides fellowship to four thousand to four thousand two hundred, if they provide fellowship to low number of students, less number of students, then this rank will not work. And if they provide to more number of students, then it's a favor for you. It's favorable for you, okay? That's the simple idea of converting the percentile score into a rank, okay? So keep this uh, video in your uh, mind uh, and. make it offline or you know you can share this video with your friends so that everyone knows about this idea very simple idea but you can easily check your uh, rank approximate rank predict your approximate rank so i believe this video is helpful if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and also if you want to join csi net if you fail this times net don't bother because ultimately nobody is going to ask you how many times you failed right ultimately you need to qualify this exam and if you need help from us if you want to join our online coaching the registration is going on you can always 
ट्यून इन थैंक यू बाय